literally lives here before I even get into the mission. Let me tell you what's happening in my life. So here's the deal, right? I've been sick for like over a week now since my last trip to Toronto and I haven't been able to shake it yet. My nose is still very stuffed. <sighs> I still have a very congested cough, and I just don't feel 100 because since I got sick, I've been doing wedding, 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 flight, flight, flight. I haven't had a chance to properly recover, and it's seriously taking a toll on me now. On that note, tomorrow morning, I'm flying to New York City for the premiere of Fahrenheit 451. I'm in Toronto for one day, and then I'm only in New York for one day before I fly back home to LA. So I still have two flights to go while being sick, but the good news is 48 hours until I'm reunited with my baby Scarborough, and I cannot wait. I miss him so, so much. That's what's going on with me. Here's the mission for today. Shoo, 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 shoo. I gotta head to an appointment, I have a call, I gotta go through my inbox. Today is a crucial Raptors game. I'm trying to get better before my flight that is very early in the morning. I also have this new thing where I just want my hair to be like a crazy person's hair. So this is my, this is my hairstyle. Let's go. Okay, just went through most of my inbox. I still have some emails left and I've starred some. And the ones I've started are ones that are like, okay. <sighs> We need to go through this email right now, so pretty good. Halfway there, let's go. There is no better representation of me than Toronto radio. If you ever wonder like why I talk the way I talk, why I listen to the music the way I listen, I'm at a red light also. It's because of Toronto radio. Like this is not a special radio station, it's not satellite radio. This is normal radio, listen. I couldn't record all the jams because I was driving, but just dance hall, reggae, just all of the jams and vibes where I'm just like, this is so Toronto. Like, just so Toronto, so proud. Also, I'm gonna do some work right now and then I have a call. Today is a very important Raptors game. Essentially, the series against the Cavs, the Raptors are down 3-0. If they lose today's game, they're out of the playoffs. In playoff history, it's very unlikely for a team to come back 3-0, but I just don't want us to get clean sweep. I want to at least be like, yo, we won, and we're gonna give you a challenge. I want to get us to like, I want us to win this game, the next game, maybe even, maybe even tie the series, I don't even know. I am hopeful. It's gonna be intense and emotional. Just had an hour and a half call about all things magical in Unicorn Island, and now time to watch the game. It's actually into the first, and we are losing. My mom is sick, but she came home from Cancun. Poor baby, poor baby. She said there's medicine on her face in Punjabi. So don't kiss me. <sighs> And Raptors season comes to an end. Raptors lost very, very badly. But you know what? Honestly, I'm not one of those people that's like, they lost, we're gonna F them. Dude, the Raptors played a very good regular season. They couldn't pull it off in the playoffs, but still my boys, still so proud of them, proud of the city. I will get them next year. I'm still a fan and I'm very proud and we still the mother effing North. My team's probably like, thank God, because for the past like two months, I've been like, oh, I'm gonna schedule everything around the Raptors games. And they're just like, all right, y'all, I'm gonna go to bed. I have to get picked up for the airport at 5.30 a.m. So I'm gonna combine both these logs together. I'm gonna spend one day in New York. Godspeed. Come on it. It is 12 noon. My glam is at four, so I have four hours. I'm gonna nap for three. I need some sleep, I essentially was up all night. I'm nervous so here's a little into I'm like kind of I'm excited but I'm nervous for the Fahrenheit premiere because I have no idea what my character turned into I'll give you the full lowdown after I see it but essentially like the short version is when I went to set my character completely changed and so she was like 180 version of what I had prepped for so I don't know how much I'm in the movie I don't know how much she's in the movie I don't know what Raven turned into I just was so in the dark with this whole thing so it could be that I'm on screen for like two seconds I have no idea we're gonna figure it out I don't know but it's gonna be nice to see Michael again and Mike Shannon and all the peeps so exciting but three hour nap sounds really exciting right now as well outlets that are near a bed am i in heaven thank you new york hotel all right my hair and makeup artists are here we're about to get ready and count on me me right here to get my period right hiding in the washroom first of all look at this portion size for 12 people. Okay, so my outfit was supposed to come to the room and it came, but then this mysterious package also came. So I'm like, what the F is in there? I open the envelope. Obviously, when anything weird happens, one person can be responsible. Guess in the comments below. Nada is correct, if you guess Nada. The card said this elephant should be about the same size as me. Nada, you're not getting on a flight, right? So like the, the realisticness of me being able to take this home. What is this? And it's so heavy. <laughs> a gift for you. Congrats, Lily, with love, Nada. What did you do, Nada? This is very intense to open again. So we might have to revisit. I'm guessing it's an elephant statue because it's so heavy. Like, can you pick this up? How much? How much do you think that weighs? Oh god. 
No, it's like 20 pounds. <laughs> How am I taking this home, Nana? Okay, we'll open it before the night is done. Ta-da! Okay, so my dress is pretty cool. It's like, to me, very Indian-ish, but it's like islandy. Kind of, let me show you a full body thing, hold on. Kinda, sorta, of, maybe, yeah, it's like cool, right? I like it. Killed my makeup, it killed my hair. I really like makeup, dope as hell. These shoes are gonna be interesting to walk in. The back like doesn't close. Look at this, look at that. Doesn't really have a back. So bruh, I'm about to brock up the place for real. Guys, it's been so long since I've seen you that Lily had to reteach me how to turn the vlogging camera on. Lily, did, what did you tell them about yet today? I, I they know we're going to the Fahrenheit oh, premiere. <laughs> They know I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous. Why? I don't know. I'm just nervous. I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Baby's first very big premiere. Yeah. Well, that's not true. Yeah, that's not you true. had your very, your very, very big yes. first premiere. Yes. ATTUI. ATTUI. Correct. Shout out, represent. Executive yeah. producer. <laughs> That's me. I'm an exactly This is producer. Sarah's vlog. This is Sarah's vlog channel. Well, hold on a second. Let's have some real talk. Was anybody else offended that I'm not a character in the vlog channel? <laughs> what? You can be, no problem. What do you have to say for yourself? I think that you very much can be a character. He's a filter, I'm sick. Okay, thank you. He's a filter, I'm sick. Okay, we're here. There's our little star down there. There's TJ. There's Adrian. Gang's all here. I'm very excited for her. This is happening on the big screen. It's just footage from the red carpet outside. And there's Lily's new boyfriend, Michael B. Jordan. I'm personally gunning for a celebrity relationship, so. All right, cheers guys, the best team ever. My stomach hurts so much. I need to take these spanks off immediately. My uterus is being squeezed. So here's the lowdown. Saw the movie. It's great. It was so great to see all my castmates and everyone all over again. I am in very little of the movie, so don't get too hyped up about it. But it doesn't even matter because Ramin, when he was like doing his speech and like talking about the cast and stuff, he gave me such a heartfelt introduction, said such nice things about me, where it doesn't even matter. And I'm gonna climb my way up. Like cameo after cameo, they got bigger and bigger and bigger. Hopefully, Bright Features gets greenlit. It's okay if I'm in it for a small amount, whatever, yada yada yada. We're gonna climb our way up and we're not gonna give up. We gotta pay our do's. So we're in the process of doing that. Now I need to take these spikes off. In case you want to know what was in that box from Nada, it's this giant elephant that I wish I could take home. It's so, so hello, control yourself, that I wish I could take home, but I don't know how. It's truly the size of Nada. Good job, Nada. Alrighty, I'm gonna take a shower. Maybe, we'll see. My stomach is hurting. Hot water might help. Pack up my stuff. My airport pickup is 4.45 a.m. Homegirl can't catch a break, but in just a few hours, I'm gonna be reunited with Scarborough and honestly, I cannot wait. I miss him so much. I can't wait to kiss his little belly and smother him with all my love. I think we killed him over the last few days. Let's see how we do. Also, before we do that, I drank at least two glasses of water that I did not vlog one per day. Just, just saying, give me the points. And now, let's see how we did. Until next time, where you have no idea what could happen in my day. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>